saw in 2018, then we put up a new collecting yard that was doubling up as a winter feed unit and collecting yard for the cows. And we took out the old feed passage out of the old Schlesser shed house we had and put in cubicles into the feed passage and took a wall out of one side of it for more feed space for cows as well. And then in 2019, we got access to more land. So again, we went straight in and receded all that land, lined it being in as much as we could get into it. At that stage, then we went in with water and roads, more roadways. We had a big pile of roads to put into the first farm. We head into the second farm and a bit of drainage into the second farm as well. That was all done as one project, really, in late April, uh, early May 2019. So we've done it all together, really. I suppose the had got bigger, or we just put more pressure on infrastructure, so we have replaced a lot of water trucks at this stage. We're putting in 300 gallon water trucks, putting in a bigger line in phases, a bigger water line in phases. We're doing, we had a good bit of roads to put in to access the second farm. It wasn't so much to access it, but to access it in wet weather, I suppose. So we're lucky enough, we had our own gravel here on site, so we used that to, to make the roadways. The biggest expenditure we did was, was in receding and, and bits of drainage and that in, in the farms. Of course, P&K and Lyme, but I think they're very high return areas anyway.